Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi 13C and in this video I'll show you how we can go through the setup process of your brand new device. So when you put it up for the very first time you should be presented with the well, same screen as I have right now on. And all you can do is just press on the arrow and then from here find your desired language. I'll be using English. There we go. Then you can select your region. For me it already selected the correct one so I'm not going to be changing anything here. Then we have terms and conditions which you need to agree to by checking the box or circle right over here. You can also tap on these two to read exactly what you are agreeing to. From there we can go to the next page which will start checking for a sim card and obviously you can insert your sim card into the device if you want to but the device doesn't need to have any sim card or network connection to be set up so you can actually skip this. Next, like I said, uh, we don't need network, so we can skip that as well. Now, if you want to, obviously you can connect to it. I don't, so I'll be selecting skip. Now, the, uh, there might be a little bit of a difference because I did skip Wi-Fi connection. So typically, uh, throughout the setup process, I will now see a uh, page for setting up date and time because it won't be set automatically using network anymore. And additionally, I will not see the Google login page, which if you connect it to network, you should have... Uh, throughout the process just show up. Anyway, I'm going back to this. So Google services, we have three different services, location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. If you don't want some of them, you can obviously turn those off, then scroll down and select accept to go to the next page, which will then allow you to select a screen lock. Now, I have three different methods of protecting our device. That would be screen lock only, which would imply a uh, pin pattern or password then below that we have fingerprint or face recognition now if you're planning to use either fingerprint or face recognition or both of them at the same time you will always be uh, forced to select a physical way of unlocking your device that'd be pin pattern or password now the reason for that is if something would ever happen to your face or your finger or both you would lose access to your device till uh, the whatever biometrics would go back to the device would go back to recognizing them So maybe if you cut your finger as an example You might actually lose access permanently in this case, right? So that's uh, that's something that you wouldn't want to have happen to you So hence that would leave the screen lock as a another option to unlock your device Which wouldn't change no matter what would happen to your biometric features now, I'll be skipping this and not protecting my device at all, but I just wanted to explain this for people that might be interested. Now, here we have some basic settings, and it's kind of funny that some of them are called basic in here. So, we have location. This is now from Xiaomi. If you don't want uh, Xiaomi to spy on you, you can turn that off. Send user and diagnostic data. Again, we already had that, but we had it from Google. Now, this is from Xiaomi. Automatic system updates. Those are completely up to you. Personalized aids. Uh, ads, I mean. Uh, that's uh, that's just absolute horrid garbage. I recommend turning that off and unlike everything else here It also gives you a pop-up with reverse psychology giving you the blue button uh, On the right side which would typically confirm your actions But no Xiaomi just shows your middle finger and does the exact opposite to turn off this annoying feature now to people that don't know uh, what this is because You can see it doesn't really go into it unlike every other option right here that has a couple paragraphs to them. Uh, what personalized uh, ads do, do is basically spies on you. It, it's as best as I can explain it. It just gathers data on what you search for, what you talk about. So if you don't like your device listening to you when you're speaking with your friends and then giving you ads based on what you are talking about, then you might probably want to turn that off. As you can probably imagine, it is a bit intrusive. And then below that, we have some user ex experience programs. No, and then also MIUI uh, Demon, whatever that is, you can read it, I don't really care. Next. Uh, then we have set up screen lock, so this is uh, what some device called like a wallpaper carousel. Uh, here it's called oh, exactly that, it's called exactly that. Um, but what it is, it's basically a set of wallpapers that will be cycling through your uh, lock screen whenever you press the power button to wake up your device and you're still on a lock screen. And those wallpapers do vary quite severely between each other. So you can have something like you can see mountains and cats and uh, furniture and suitcases, uh, people that you don't know. Uh, so they're just all over the place. Obviously, some people might not like that. So you might probably want to skip this in this case. Now, if you want to have some kind of variety to your lock screen, you could just go with the agree and then 
experience with it. This can also be changed later on in the settings under uh, lock screen. Anyway, last thing we have here is the select default launcher. So this is basically how your apps will be visible on your home screen. And we have classic, which is classic for iPhones. And then we have app drawer, which would be classic for Android, which this is. So you can choose whichever one you want. The app drawer is my preferred go-to option just because it keeps your home screen a little bit more tidy with all of your applications being accessible alphabetically in an app drawer compared to typically just being all smack in the middle of your home screen spread throughout five different pages depending on how many apps you have. And as you can see this basically concludes the setup of your device. Once it gives us the button which might take a moment. There we go. Come on. Ah. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.